Hello, my name is Rich Finelli, and this is the 12th video in my Handlebars video training series. Every video in this series is available on YouTube, completely for free. If you get any value from this video, please check out my website, richfinelli.com, for more web development tutorials. In this video, we'll learn about something called event delegation. So before we do that, here's what I want to do. I want to be able to have something I click on that opens up something, and then I can click on it to close it. In order to do that, you have to use JavaScript, and we're going to use jQuery specifically. But here's our problem statement. Everybody says, I started using handlebars, and now my click events don't work anymore. So that's our problem, and that's where event delegation is going to come to the rescue. So what we'll do here is we'll back up our, I kind of showed you the finished product here with this opening and closing. So let's back it up and we'll um, we'll kind of get rid of kind of what I created here. And basically what I have here is a an anchor tag. It's got nothing in the href. It's got a class called button. That's going to be used to add the style. And then it has a class called view details which I'm going to use to add my event listener. So in the style what I have here is just a little CSS on the dot button class and the hover to position it, to give it some padding, give it some background color. So here's typically what you would do is you'd come in here and we'd create a jQuery object that would um, take one argument, which would be our selector, which is the class view details for our button. And we'd do something like on click. Give it a callback. You know what? We might put an E in here for the event and then say prevent default since this is an anchor tag. We don't want it to actually try and go to any other resource. And now let's just do this. Let's just say console.log button clicked. So let's come in here and we'll inspect and we'll go to the console. And when we click on this button, we should see cons our console.log. All right. When I click on this though, notice that it jumps up to the top. It's ignoring our event.prevent default, and we're not getting our console.log. Let's look at our HTML. This is what the page starts with, is just this unordered list, character list container. The rest of this HTML is really not on the page originally. It's inside of this script tag, handlebars compiles it, and then it inserts it inside of this unordered list later. So we're trying to add a event listener to this view details button before it's actually on the page. So here's a quick fix to that is we can grab this, right? And we can put it inside of our Ajax call. Just format that so we can see it. So we're, we're Ajaxing, we're getting the data. When that's done, we're getting that object and we're compiling our handlebars template. After that's compiled, now we're adding our event listener. So if we save that and we come in here, we get no jump and we get our button clicked console.log. So that seems to work pretty good. But here's the problem. That's not very modular. If we have to put all of our click events, all of our event listeners inside of this Ajax call, that's going to get a little bit unwieldy and there's a better way to do it. So what we'll do instead is we'll, we'll recreate that down here. And what we'll do is jQuery has a really nice feature where instead of attaching the event listener to the thing that I'm clicking on, I can just attach it to something that is there initially, like the document. I could go one step lower and attach it to the body. Doesn't quite matter as far as I know. But jQuery has the ability to pass it a second. jQuery has the ability for you to pass it a second argument. Normally, the second argument is your callback function. But if you if your second argument is a selector or a string, what it's going to do is it's going to assume that you're delegating the event. You're saying, okay, attach the event listener to the document, but don't do any of this stuff inside of here unless the target of the event is the view details selector. 
And now what we can do is we can click on this and we get our console.log button clicked. The other thing we can do is we don't actually have to attach all of our events to the document. We could, in theory, attach our event to this character list container because that's a little bit closer and that's originally on the page. So let's do that. I kind of like that a little bit more and we'll just refresh the page and it still works. Very nice. So now I can replace this console.log with the functionality that actually opens up a hidden div when I click on it the first time and then closes the hidden div when I click on it once it's already open. But this video is not about that. It's about event delegation uh, and handlebars JS. So I think we learned a little bit in this video. In the next video, we're going to look at drilling into data, where if I were to click on this view details button, instead of expanding a hidden section, we're going to go to a new page that's just specific to the character we clicked on.